Reflections. A reflection is a transformation of points over a line. The line that we're transforming over is called the line of reflection. In the figure below, the line of reflection is noted by the cursive L. And you can see that we're starting with our original triangle, triangle ABC, and we're reflecting it over top of this line. Like you can see how the reflection travels over the line to the other side. In the figure shown below here, the line of reflection is again line L. And a reflection across a line produces a mirror-like image. So just like mirror images, the pre-image in blue and the image in red have opposite orientations. Any point of the pre-image which lies on the line of reflection maps onto itself. In this example, point B and point B prime, or maps to B prime, which is in exactly the same point. In other words, it maps onto itself. Now let's focus our attention on mapping from A to A prime and from point C to C prime. The dashed orange segments are drawn as an aid creating segment A to A prime and segment C to C prime. When a pre-image is reflected across the line, the line of reflection L is, is the perpendicular bisector of any segment joining the pre-image and image. So we have that segment A to A prime is perpendicular to line L and segment C to C prime is also perpendicular to L. And L is that perpendicular bisector of the segment from A to A prime. And it's also the perpendicular bisector of the segment C to C prime. And since it's the perpendicular bisector, it splits each of these new segments that are created into two congruent halves. So segment A to the midpoint of A, A, A to A prime is congruent to the segment created from A prime to the midpoint of A to A prime. So these two halves are equal to one another. Similarly, segment C to the midpoint of segment C to C prime is congruent to the segment drawn from this midpoint to C prime. So we have two congruent halves that are happening by this line of reflection. The reflection across line L that maps triangle ABC to triangle A prime B prime C prime is written as capital R for reflection across line L of triangle ABC gives us triangle A prime B prime C prime. The subscript of our capital R for reflection is the name of the line of reflection, which in our case is line L. As we did previously, a grid can be superimposed over the figures to allow for further inquiry. In this example, the line of reflection L strategically becomes the diagonal Y is equal to X, and point B is strategically positioned at 2, 2, which is a point on this line Y equals X. Now let's compare the coordinates of A and A prime as well as the coordinates of C to C prime and see if we can find a pattern for when points are reflected across the line Y equals X. So we can see that the coordinates of point A are negative four comma four. Now if we reflect over the line Y equals X, in our case, the line L here, we end up getting an A prime value of positive four, negative four. Now let's look at C to C prime. We have the original coordinates of C being negative five, zero. And then after the reflection, the coordinates of C prime are zero, negative five. Compare these coordinates. What happened from A to A prime and C to C prime? Take a moment to pause this video and think about it. And see if you can come up with the pattern yourself. And when you're done, unpause it. As we compare these coordinates from A to A prime and C to C prime, 
it looks like the x and y coordinates switched positions, which is exactly what happened. So in other words, we went from the coordinates x, y to the coordinates y, comma, x. And this will always happen whenever you are reflecting about the line y equals x.